What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of an update video on the RS. I know I haven't really posted much on it here recently other than the shift knob and shift boot that we did. I kind of wanted to give a little bit of an update for those of you who follow the channel for this car. I know most of you are here for the Civic, but this is my passion project. The Civic is just kind of like my daily driver that I like to mess around with, but this is where my heart really is. Even though a lot of you guys would rather see the Civic than this, which really sucks for me personally, but it is what it is. So basically this is the reason why I haven't been posting too much on this car. As you can see, a lot going on there, a lot going on down there, and then the other side. I'll go ahead and run you guys through that real quick. If you've been following the channel for a while, you will know that this car had some rust on both quarters, both rockers on each side. I had sous vide saver panels. I've been learning how to weld. There's my machine over there. And this driver quarter is almost done. Um, it just needs to be finished up with the bodywork and all that good stuff. The driver rocker, 90% of the rust is cut out. I still have a little bit more to do, as you can see, like kind of down here. And then if we walk over to the passenger side, you'll see that this quarter section has been cut out. Um, all the rust right here is gone. Just need to do a little bit more finishing up on the interior or the inside of the wheel well and making sure that we protect everything and coat it properly so that this doesn't happen again. But it's just about ready to be welded in. I've got the new, or I've got the Subi Saver panel right here cut to shape. Pretty close fit. It's about ready to go, sand it down, all that good stuff. So this quarter is almost ready to be done. And then we've got this rocker over here. This one is not nearly as bad as the other side. Again, I've got about 90% of it cut out. Still a little bit more to go. But yeah, that's kind of the update on this car. That's what I've been doing. My initial plan was to document the whole process of doing this welding in new panels and bodywork and all that good stuff. But I extremely underestimated how much work it takes. So this has been like ongoing for months. The progress that you guys have seen has been from me doing it since like, I want to say March or April. It's extremely time consuming and I get a little bit overwhelmed doing this kind of stuff because I really don't know what I'm doing. I've just learned how to tack well good enough to make these panels go on and that's it. So that's what I've been doing, all body work. As far as the car goes, I've done a couple of small things that I didn't really see necessary to make a video for. Um, I did install JDM tail lights, the 50-50s, cookies, whatever you wanna call them. Didn't really see a need to make a video for that because you just pull the old ones out and put the new ones in. Pretty much anybody who owns one of these cars does this and knows what those are. They just look better than the stock ones. And then I've done one other thing that I did not record, but I might make a video on it if you guys are interested. And that would be this compass pack. So if you look there, it's finally wired up, finally working. Ended up finding a guy who was down in Georgia, had the almost complete full wiring harness to get this working. The only thing I don't have is the thermo sensor for the outside temperature. Maybe one day I'll be able to find that in a forest or in a junkyard or something, but I don't have high hopes. They're very hard to find. But the compass pack is working. I have not calibrated it yet, so it's not pointing the correct direction, but it does work, drive the car, it spins around, it shows you which direction you're going once it's, you know, uh, calibrated properly. But I did get that working. If you guys are interested, I may make a video on that, but it's super easy. It just plugs in and you gotta run one wire down under the dash and connect it to, I can't remember what it was. It's been a while since I did. But we finally got the compass pack working. I think it looks freaking sick. I love it. It's kind of useless, but it's just one of those cool things that, I don't know, I just really liked it. I basically got that compass pack for $75 when they go for anywhere from two to 300 on the eBay, so super good deal on it. But yeah, we've done the tail lights. We got our compass pack working, and that's pretty much it. I haven't done anything else. Car is still the same. Um, if you guys remember in one of my last videos that I made on it, we do have a whole brand new set of carpet for it. I still have the leather that goes onto the armrest over there that we gotta do. And I have one other 
super cool thing that I don't think I've showed you guys. So we have this. And for those of you who don't know what this is, this is a JDM uh, airbag cubby. Again, one of those things that's kind of useless, but I'll kind of show you guys how it works. So if you look over there, you'll see my airbag. Basically that airbag comes out, the cubby goes in. Again, kind of pointless, but at this point, this car is kind of like an OEM plus build. So I just like putting in cool things that come in other cars that are still OEM, not specifically for this car, but maybe for a different one. That uh, cubby comes out of a GC8 from Japan. I just thought it was cool. Got it for a pretty good deal. So we'll be doing that in the future. Other than that, all I've really done, I did a pretty decent cleaning on the engine bay. All the plastics turned out great. Looks super nice. It was just covered in dust and stuff from all the body work that I've been doing. So I cleaned all that up. Looks really, really good. So again, purpose of this video was kind of just to show you guys where I've been with the car, what I've been doing. And it's basically just been a whole lot of body work. And I will say, I do not really enjoy doing it. I'm not having a good time with it, but it is completely necessary and it needs to be done on this car because I believe it deserves to be saved. These are pretty hard to come by and a lot of them end up in junkyards or getting scrapped. So this is my forever car. I will have this for probably the rest of my life. And in that time period, we'll see what happens with it. I wanna thank you guys for watching. For those of you who have subscribed specifically for this build, I appreciate you. Even though the majority of my subscribers are only here for the civic content, I know there's a select few of you that are here for this and I appreciate you. Unfortunately, it's just the way it is. People don't really know what these cars are and don't really care about them, but 80% of the population knows what a Honda Civic is and they're just way more popular than something like this. So the Honda videos get a little bit more attention. So it is what it is. And that's kind of why I don't really post this car as much anymore. Obviously the goal on YouTube is to grow and I'm growing much faster making content on a Civic than I am this car. So this car is kind of just like in the background. This is what I love to work on, but I gotta do the Civic because it's what gets more attention. Oh, also, if you guys are wondering why this uh, STI is in my garage, I'm sure you can kind of see by what's going on here. Uh, there will be a video coming on this and it's, uh, it's not looking good for this car. Uh, this car is not mine, but still not looking good. So look for this in the future. That's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, be sure to leave them down below and I will be happy to get back with you. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little update and I'll see you in the next one.